Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're doing awesome. So now I'm going to read to you the English translation of a statement that is written by the awaited Imam Mahdi Nasser Muhammad Al Yemeni on the 22nd of March 2020, titled Further Ruling Fatwa About the Complete Abolition Purification. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. Peace be upon the messengers and praise be to Allah, Lord of the Worlds. May the peace, mercy and blessings of Allah be upon you, my beloved supporters and all truth seekers. I see you arguing with regards to my fatwa ruling in my previous statement about the meaning of complete ablution. It is exactly as you perform ablution, wudu. In fact, Istan Shak, the act of throwing water up in the nostrils, is included within the hygiene of the content of faith and mouth. Also, cleaning the teeth is included within the cleanliness and beauty of the face. And suwak, tooth stick, is included within the cleanliness of the teeth and the beauty of the face while smiling and speaking, so his breath will be fresh. In fact, teeth are a weapon to crumble food. How much does one regret who neglects his weapon when he loses it? Also, wiping the hair and ears with wood hands. Indeed, the eastern shock, throwing water up into the nostrils and gargling is an aspect of perfecting the complete ablution. Yet it is not a condition of only repeating it three times but of repeating it until one feels that his face is cleaned from dry sweat, also his nose from mucus. Also rubbing his teeth with his finger when performing ablution and wiping his head and his ears from behind and into the curves from the inside, not less than three wipes. Yet not entering water into the ears, just wiping them to remove impurity. The most important thing about ablution is achieving cleanliness. It is not a condition that washing the face, eastern shock, throwing water up into the nostrils, gargling, etc. be only three times. The condition is achieving cleanliness, whether you do them three times or more, but at least three times. Surely I remind you and repeat that the most important thing is achieving cleanliness, which is the sensing that one feels they have achieved hygiene. Surely this is the perfection of complete ablution. I do not prohibit you from gargling and throwing water up into the nostrils, as this is included in washing the face in its content. I do not think that it needs a fatwa, and if I had seen a mistake in you doing this, I wouldn't have kept quiet about it. Didn't the Messenger of Allah Muhammad Pray your forgiveness and peace from Allah be upon him and his righteous family, say. Would it not that it would be too difficult for my ummah, nation? I would have commanded them to use the tooth stick, suwak, at every time of prayer. Indeed, in Eastern Shock, throwing water up into the nostrils and gurgling, there is a far-reaching wisdom from Allah. I only increased your knowledge regarding the complete ablution when I taught you about wiping the feet. And by that, God means rubbing them by hand and making fingers go through the toes as there might be impurity between the toes, especially the ones that are close to each other. Also regarding cotton nails, whether for men or women, especially fingernails. We do not forbid women's nail polish for adornment, provided that the nail polish is put on nails that are pure and clean. Nail polish wouldn't stop the removal of what might get stuck on the nails of impurities after that. Because the nail polish was originally placed on clean nails, and whatever gets stuck over them later will be over the nail polish, and what is newly stuck, ablution will remove it. So perform you the complete ablution. I had only rejected what some claim about wiping the feet, claiming it should be done with a wet hand only, but in fact you should wash them. And I clarify it to you that wiping the feet here in the verse means rubbing them with your hands as they are more exposed to impurity and that is to attain hygiene. And you should know that hygiene is from belief in what Allah commanded you of. 
listen and obey, for that you may succeed. Peace be upon the messengers, and praise be to Allah, Lord of the words. Your brother, the Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al-Yamani. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.